During the cold weather months, it's not just ice and snow that make our roads slippery and difficult to drive on. Even cold and damp conditions can make driving a dangerous task. Thankfully though, tyre manufacturers have designed cold weather tyres to provide much better grip and safety in all of these conditions, helping you to avoid any unnecessary and unpleasant accidents. At temperatures below 7 degrees, warm weather tyres become hard and are less able to key into the road surface. Cold weather tyres are made from a special tread compound, which stays flexible in cold conditions. This is so the tyre can lock into the peaks and troughs of the road surface and grip the road better. They also have more small grooves or sipes, which provide better grip in wet, icy or snowy conditions. To demonstrate the difference between cold and warm weather tyres, we're going to carry out two tests. The first is a braking test, which will show clearly the difference in stopping distances for the two tyres. The second is a cornering test, which will show how effective the different tyres are at gripping in cold conditions. So let's show you the difference with two virtually identical cars, except the silver Mercedes-Benz is fitted with standard warm weather tyres and the black Mercedes-Benz with cold weather tyres, designed to provide better grip and safety when temperatures drop below 7 degrees C. In cold weather conditions, even to get a car moving can be difficult. Here our car struggles for grip, and when our driver gets up to 15 miles per hour and reaches our marker, he slams on the brakes. On warm weather tyres, it takes 9.75 metres to come to a stop. Now, the Mercedes-Benz fitted with cold weather tyres, which are designed to provide much better grip in the cold, much better grip at the start line, and this time it only takes the car just over 7.01 metres to come to a stop. As this split screen shows, the Mercedes-Benz fitted with warm weather tyres took 39% further in distance to come to a safe stop. And remember, this was at just 15 miles per hour. Imagine the difference in potential damage if sudden braking was needed on a busy main road, when speeds are much faster. Now, for cornering, both Mercedes-Benz are going to try and drive through this simple bend at a speed of just 15 miles per hour. First off, it's the Mercedes-Benz fitted with standard warm weather tyres. As the car enters the bend, its front tyres lose grip with the surface and pushes straight through the cones. This is harmless enough on our ice rink, but imagine the consequences if this was a real road with a car drifting onto a kerb. Now for the cold weather tyres. Again, we can see that when the Mercedes-Benz starts off, the driver has much better traction and control, helping him to get up to speed much quicker. And through the cone safely. Wow, what a difference. Much better grip and complete control on the cold weather tyres. Let's see the difference again from our overhead camera. And from here you can really see that 39% difference with the warm weather tyres. So the same entry speed, the cold weather tyres guide the driver safely round the corner, while the car equipped with warm weather tyres loses control and clips the cones. So remember, cold weather tyres are not just for driving in arty conditions. They work much better than warm weather tyres at temperatures below 7 degrees C, giving better grip, stability and safety, making them an ideal choice for the whole cold weather period. For more information, please visit mercedesbenz.co.uk slash cwt or contact your local Mercedes-Benz official workshop.